Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my vanilla Minecraft server. And today, <clears throat> I thought we could pick up where we left off, but I think we might be taking a nap here. Anywho. Eh, we need to go upstairs anyways. Because I was thinking about trying some different wood types as well for this next part. Although, most importantly, I thought we could get the, some of the, uh, well, get the first floor interior laid out. Also, grab some, well, we'll, we'll save that for the decor. Because I think what I want to do is divide this up into about three different segments. Uh, yeah, I have to go try some birch too. Grab some of that. We've got saplings for everything. It's the the ones that won't grow in the tree farm that are going to be annoying as I'll get out. But uh, I think we can manage gotta wait now we can take a nap all right so ow let's wander back over to the project site and get started this shouldn't take very long I cut like a lot of people do, but this isn't that far. So. Alright. Now, for sure, I already know I want to have this sectioned off as a separate part. For sure. And then I was thinking, like, maybe a stairway over here. Because uh, I know at least over part of the building, you know, it's going to be two stories. So like stairs up to about there. Uh, two, do we want to do a two-wide stair? Because otherwise that's going to be a big pain. It might be worth it. Just so that that lines up properly. And of course, the stairs aren't going to take up the entirety of that amount of space. And I know over here, I'm thinking that this part could be a bathroom. And then, uh, I was actually thinking maybe this part could be the kitchen area. Perhaps. Yeah, I know, I'm using nondescript cobblestone to uh, mark everything off. And, uh, hmm. Because I kind of want to keep this window in a single room as well. So maybe uh, we could, but well, let's see how far over is that going? Three, three. Yeah, got a little more than that. All right, something like that for the entry room, and then a dining room and a living room combo here. Something like this. Yeah, I think I'd work. The main portion of the room be over here, and then a little, little bit of a jet out over there. Kitchen over here. Nice bay window over here. Yeah, I think this is gonna work really well. 
Now, uh, as for the different wood types and all that, uh, this part might be a little more complicated because we're still in 1.11 here. Uh, 1.11.2 as of this recording. And the concrete blocks would go really well here, but unfortunately I don't have access to them right now. And as this server is not a snapshot server, I can't actually do that, unfortunately. You know what? The birch would go really well. Now, the question is, do we want to... Well... You want all your plumbing together, but at the same time, you don't want the toilet to be near where you eat. And I'm thinking this would probably be better as the dining room. And I'm thinking maybe a nice birch floor for that. Uh, it's okay to have different materials for the floors, but at the same time, ooh, that'd go really well in there. And, uh, yeah, as for the rest of it, I, uh, I, don't, I don't have enough wood. Or maybe, maybe some dark oak. Nah, it doesn't really fit with what I'm going for here. However, it might do fairly nicely. Maybe a dark oak trim around the perimeter of the uh, entryway. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. Unfortunately, our wood supplies are limited. Our main selection is oak. And I really don't want to use oak for the floor. Particularly. Not in this build. Uh, but for, especially for the dining room, I really like the uh, look of the birch. Uh, let's see. Let's grab a little bit of our spruce here and put it next to the dark oak and see how that looks. Don't worry, I will be, unlike the previous episode, I will be cutting here at some point. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. I might carry that throughout parts of, throughout most of the building except for like in the kitchen and bathroom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the, uh, well, the white concrete would probably look good for the kitchen and the bathroom, and then either gray or light gray for in here. Because it's a combo of workshop area slash garage type of, what I was, is what I was thinking. But we don't have access to that, so... So temporarily, maybe diorite and granite. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here. And I'll bring you guys back in when I've made a decision on that one. Or when I have the floors in at any rate. So, here it goes. Alright, we've got most of it in place now. As you can see, I went with spruce exterior for this floor. This second floor, we're not going to get to in this episode, but temporarily I was thinking we could use diorite for it. Go ahead and put all the bedding materials away. We're not going to need that for the moment. Shouldn't need that right now. We're going to want that because we're going to need some transitions between the different rooms. And I was thinking stone slabs would work really nicely for that. Just for the bottom part. I need more, but that's okay. And if we don't have enough stone here, we've also got a giant pile of stones back up base. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Something like that. Uh, probably 
better to enter the bathroom from here. Now, only the bathroom one has a door. The rest of it is just openings. And over here is a little bit trickier because this is going to be some stairs. And then underneath it will be a, into the garage. Kind of like that. Feel like a microphone is running away from me. Now, as for the interior walls themselves. Well, what if we... I know it, it's a bit contrasty, but... What if we used oak planks? Come on. I think it'll work. Great. And of course we're out of them. Not the pickaxe, the regular axe. Like so. And of course, we will be detailing this later. Using stairs. But, I think for the most part, we've got our interior walls in. I was thinking about putting a door between the bathroom and the kitchen, but generally speaking, in real construction, you really don't want that. By the living room is fine, uh, but you don't want it by the... Yeah, was that a polar bear up there? Nope, just white sheep. Okay. Ow. Anyways, uh, in real construction, you generally don't want that because you want to try to keep all the waste away from the food. Come on. And we need to go grab some more. Probably gonna end up having to go do some more tree farming, but that's okay. And then I'm not entirely sure exactly where I want the stairs to go. I know I I think right about there will do for the entry to the stairs. But other than that, I'm not entirely sure. Plus, we're going to probably want to have some way of getting through like right back here. Just so you can get to the garage. And also, uh, for storage under the stairs. Other than that, I think we can take this part straight across now. All the way to there. Not there. For 
now, and then this can go all the way across. Except for that. Dang it. Forgot about that. Can we partially cover? Or we could, instead of partially covering the window, go ahead and replace part of that with spruce. The part that would be covered up. Uh, go ahead and make it be not a window. Because I wasn't paying attention to the floor. Uh, for now, since we don't have access to things like the concrete blocks, I've gone ahead and filled the entire floor in with just stone. For now. But for now, I think, oh, and then we also have this part right here to fill in. Like so. And of course, eventually we need to do an actual interior, but I th think for the most part, this is it. And then also, um, across the top, I was thinking we could run a line of oak logs uh, sideways. And that'll also be where the floor attaches. And then, for the second story, I was going to have it poke out a bit. Just around the main house itself. Not over the garage part. So, uh, yeah, I think we're actually getting kind of long on this episode, uh, to be completely honest. So, uh, if you did enjoy this episode, getting the first floor in place, uh, do be sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then do be sure to subscribe, and you can subscribe by clicking my little Minecraft guy's face on the screen. And you can also check out some of the other videos of mine as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.